It's like a slightly better Krig. C4 is like the cheesiest, cheapest. You want a better game. Heat. What is going on, guys? It is your boy Afti back with a brand new video. Today, we're going to be talking about the meta shift, the guns that got banned, the guns that pro players are using. If you watched my last video, you heard me talking a little bit about it. I talked about the MP5, but scratch all that. Let's show you guys the real deal, the real classes, the classes pros have been using, and the new gun that joined the meta. Okay, guys, so first of all, if you've been following the pro league and seeing what pros are trying to do, we're trying to balance the game out. We're trying to make the meta more fair and more, I guess, a bigger skill gap. So there's been some testing. These are how things are going right now, and it's looking how it might stay for the sub. We are actually going to be running four attachments. Now, basically, we take out the muzzle completely because with the muzzle, for example, we have muzzle breaker to compensator. It makes the gun very easy to shoot from long range. So, obviously, a submachine gun, what it's supposed to do, it's supposed to be really dominant up close, but it's not supposed to be able to just kill everyone across the map. And that's kind of what the 74 you can do. Even though we've been testing this out and I've been using this without the muzzle, it still has a beam potential. Like, you can still shoot people from far away. But obviously, if you engage with like an AR from long range, you're probably going to lose that. For the barrel, we got the extended barrel. On the barrels, we got the speed grip. For the handle, we got the elastic wrap and skeletal stock. So lasers are pretty much GA. So that's why you don't see a steady aim laser being used. Um, optic sight, I would rather use the iron sight. And the only other attachment you could potentially use is the magazine. But that got chalked right away. It, I actually was enjoying myself using the tape mags and the 40 round drum but it's looking like a four attachment 70 for you. It's not the end of the world because X and four is gone. So it balances out a little bit, but obviously it's kind of weird at the same time. Now let's go to the next class. So obviously with X and four being gone and basically G8 or banned, we're going to be hopping on board here with the Craig, the one and only this gun is I think a little bit underrated. Obviously I think it's really good in its class. So as an assault rifle, it's a very dominant assault rifle. It's just a really good beaming type, low, like no recoil AR. For the optic, we're going to be running the Microflex. For the muzzle, uh, we get, you use infantry compensators, the best. Barrel, we got the Ranger. For the under barrel, we got the field agent grip for the maximum recoil control. Magazine, just the basic 40 round. Handle, the airborne elastic wrap, and stock Raider stock. These, Those two attachments are essential on every single gun. And now for the last and the last and the best for last of the last, we got the Q. B Z baby QBZ 83. I actually used this gun in the beta and I was absolutely loving it, but it was definitely like a more of an underrated, not the best gun. But with the exit four gone, if you didn't know, this gun actually kills slightly faster than the Craig. And I think it the ADS time is slightly faster as well. So this is like a a better version of the Craig, but the Craig can beam a little better than this gun can. But this gun still has really good range. It still has really good, like if you have the attachments, has very low recoil. So this is like a, a slightly better Craig in a way, but if you want, you can use the Craig. The Craig is still really good. So for the attachments, let's hop on board that real quick. We got the Microflex. We got the Infantry Compensator. We got the Ranger Barrel for that 100% bullet velocity. We got the Field Agent Grip, the 40 round drum the airborne elastic wrap and a raider stock a lot of these attachments are essential for the ar and it's basically attachments we use in the pro league um you can see right here let's go to the stats really quickly so it obviously has very good pretty much everything like i said it's a slightly better craig in almost every way other than very very far away for the horizontal recoil control you can see it has a little bit more of a kick and i think it has a little bit more vertical than the craig that's where the recoil comes in but overall, very dominant gun. So these are the classes pros are going to be using right now and, and testing out. And probably this might be the meta for sure. I think it's going to stick. And let's hop on board with some gameplay, some QBZ gameplay, because I absolutely love this gun. Okay, guys. So we will be using the QBZ only with a couple attachments that the variant brings. So you won't even be able to see its full potential here. But we're going to give this thing a try. Okay. We're off to a good start. See the time to kill there. It's pretty smooth solid like it, it's definitely it just looks like a better Craig but it's not as good as the XM4 though but damn okay that is actually like I said this is solid I love this map apocalypse is actually really fun to play I don't know about like I don't know it's just a very fun map So if you guys been following, 
So if you guys have been following the meta and following the like everything that's been going on, basically XM4 a little bit too good, especially as an AR. Pros want to get it out of here to balance the meta, increase the skill gap. This is the biggest thing of, of it all. Like pros want a bigger skill gap and they want they want a better game, right? Like a more competitive game at the end of the day. Like that is why we are pros. That's why we compete. Oh my God, this thing is low key. Ooh. That is what a lot of pro players are trying to do and accomplish. And I mean, when well, there's a big, a bigger skill gap too. Like right now, it feels like, and I don't know. It's I want to say necessarily the skill gap. I think the competition is just very high. Um, everyone's grinding. Everyone's going hard. Like the, a lot of teams are pretty stacked. Like, the, but it's it's close. Like we're all close. Like a lot of teams can compete with every team, except you have like a clear cut, maybe top two or top three. But other than that, like every team is like really close to beating each other all the time. And part of that is obviously the skill gap, right? Skill gap has a factor in that. So if you open. If you make the skill gap bigger and it's not so easy to to do good or win and you, you know you have to be better at your own role or whatever like gun you use then it makes the game more competitive it makes you know it makes it more fun and i think at the end of the day that's what you want to see you don't want you don't want like the game to be a small skill gap you know you want actually the grind and hard work to, to pay off Damn, this thing is actually pretty dirty. Let me guys know Silly, my teammate. He was using it scrims. He was actually destroying with it. And I can and I actually like this gun. Like I said, I used it in the beta. Um I know it's it was the beta. It's been a while. I think it received a little buff since then. Um, but I used it in the beta and I actually have an insane clip that I posted on Twitter like the start of the year with it and I like it was in the beta and I popped like a five piece of this thing and it's just like I'm like I barely have any attachments and look look what I'm doing right now like like it's I'm still like I have like two attachments on this thing right now look at this and I'm beaming bro like I'm telling you this thing has a good beam capability it's just like a Craig it's like a slightly better Craig slight slightly better Craig but not at the same time you know what I mean now if we do what we've been talking about, what basically pros have been testing out. So, for example, Craig, QBZ, and uh, a one less attachment, no muzzle, and you can't use extended mags on the 74U. I think, for the most part, it's a pretty good balance. Like, I think it's a, a little bit better compared to the meta we are playing before. It's a slightly bigger skill gap. Um, I actually wouldn't mind that at all. Like, I think it's solid. I don't know what you guys think about it. You guys think it's too much. You guys think pros are doing too much. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of curious what you guys are thinking. If you want, if you don't mind, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Kind of interested. I know a lot of people have their thoughts about it. I know some people don't like GAs or don't like you know pros taking things in their own hands. But you gotta understand, man. If for the past couple years, like I've been competing for like 10 years now. Like if pros didn't step up and say. You know, hey, we really don't want to play with this, and we're just not going to play with it, no matter if it's in the rule set. Like, we would be playing with some crazy stuff, man. We'd be playing with trip mines, like C4s, like the cheesiest, cheapest things. Because at the end of the day, the devs or the league, whatever, up until up until like the past like two, three years, like they never banned like a lot, a lot of the cheesy and like broken stuff. Like their their reasoning is like there's a counter behind it. You know, like for example, sentry guns, right? You had sentry guns like Black Ops 2. Like, of course, halfway through the year, they finally got banned in the competitive level. But, like, the, the counter argument was, like, well, you can just EMP a sentry. Yeah, but you could also throw four trophies on top of the sentry and play around it. Like, and you can, it just becomes, like, no skill. Like, it's just cheesy. It's not a skill. There's no skill involved in that. Like, do something like that. So, at the end of the day, like, we just want to make a competitive and fun game and sometimes that means getting rid of the broken op or balancing a bit the, the meta by you know something 
it is what it is all right guys nice little video talking about the new meta the new classes the qbz absolutely love that gun it's kind of a fun gun but a weird looking gun but i what a what a sight on it it does kind of look a little weird you guys gotta agree with that but either way hopefully uh we see some good changes to the the meta and the pro league um I, you know i want to apologize i know i've been slacking in terms of posting content and, and put in terms of like making videos you know i'm just trying to find my groove again i started slacking a little bit and sometimes once you go into that rabbit hole you know you're you know i'm so focused on competitive and you know competing and being the best and the best team and then obviously i'm a dad now so i'm you know spending time with my family taking care of my daughter like it's a little bit a little bit my plate's a little full sometimes but obviously i can make time i can put more effort into it it's not like i can't i just got to do it and stop like Obviously, like I said, my days are full, so some days I'm tired, some days I get a little lazy, unmotivated, but I'm gonna try my best to get back into the swing of things. I love making videos, I love making content, especially for you guys, you know, tip videos, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna keep trying my best to keep pushing forward and keep making content. So I hope you guys all have a great day. Don't forget to leave a like, it helps the video, it helps me. Just so smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we're gonna start posting some bangers. Hope you all have a great day, peace.